Hi there, my name is Tommy Kendall. I'm a four-time Trans Am champ, but I've also raced on 13 NASCAR Cup road races, which is fitting for today's video. I'm driving a CXC Simulations Motion Pro 2 simulator, and we're gonna take a current spec Cup car on the Daytona Roval because it has been added to the Cup Series schedule as part of the COVID reschedule. And uh, I mean, talk about a challenge showing up at a racetrack like, that they know, like a Darlington or with no practice, no qualifying. How about a track you've never raced on, never turned a lap on? The interest is gonna start on pit exit, other than maybe a roll through on behind the pace car to show pit speed like they do. They will not see it until race time. And it is a major factor at Daytona, I would predict I bet pretty serious money that someone will crash leaving the pits on the first pit stop on cold tires. So the international horseshoes will look familiar to all the guys like Jimmy Johnson, Kyle Busch, and the others that have run at uh, the Rolex 24, as will this fast left-hand kink. Got a little bit of a dip, you pick up some banking, it throws you out to the right. And then you break for the second horseshoe down to first gear. And you just have to wait and wait and then wait some more. Because with 900 horsepower unrestricted and the skinny tires, even when they're new, it's a challenge to put it down. So all three, the right-hander, the two right-hands, and then this one coming up onto the banking. Just patience is gonna be the story and smoothness. So, you know, some guys will run way up high like this. I think you might see some people, especially on new tires, running the short way around here. The bus stop is almost a mirror image of the bus stop at Watkins Glen. And the key thing is it's a single arc all the way through there. If you let it out in the middle or you carry too much speed in the first half and you get wide in the middle, you never get it back in or you're gonna be late getting back to power for the second half, which is this big straightaway run. Now we have a second chicane coming off NASCAR 4, which no one will have seen, even people who have been to the Rolex 24. And that was my best trip through there so far. Big curbs, uh, you can really climb up on them, but those blue ones will throw the car a lot. Now getting that into turn one, the change in banking, both in terms of getting the car slowed and the propensity to lock up tires as the weighting on all four corners changes, is gonna be something they're gonna to have to really work on. So again, patience, let it think tuck, 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 then start beating that 900 horsepower in as tenderly as you can. car thrown out to this side. You know, in a road race car, you can get back over to the left. That's a fantasy in this car. Wait, wait, wait. And then just big, long, as long an exit as you can. Back to the right. Car kind of, ah, too early there, but roll out here. And people are gonna play with all kinds of different lines. If you let it out there wider, does it make the second half straighter where you can feed it, or do you, you really give it up in the middle, let the car pivot a bunch so you can get the full throttle sooner, way down on the flat part so you're not binding it as it climbs speed. Down two years, you see that arrow, familiar arrow. Bend it in, use a ton of curb here, same arc here. And that's where that's the, the brake zones and, and the chicane is where the laps are here. The brake zone coming off the banking, or both chicanes now. So braking, release the brake a little to come in here. Brake harder again. See how much curb. And that is just one lap. And these guys are going to have to do it with 40 cars around them for all the marbles. Lap of the Roval.